second problem we're going to discuss is urinary incontinence. Enuresis is the other word for this. It's the inability to voluntarily prevent the discharge of urine. What are the causes of this? Impaired muscle contraction. Remember there are two sphincters down in the urethra. One of them is under voluntary control and one of them is involuntary. So we want to try and strengthen that those muscles that um, or around the external sphincter as much as possible. Altered neurotransmission, hormonal stimulation, and mechanical factors, all of these can um, lead to urinary incontinence. When we talk about mechanical uh, factors, we're quite often talking about women who have had babies. The, stre the stretching of the pelvic floor has caused a looseness that makes it difficult to um, keep the urine in. We have different types of incontinence. We have functional incontinence, stress incontinence, urge incontinence, that's what we see on TV for the commercials for overactive bladder, and overflow incontinence. Functional continence, these people have normal bladder function. They've got nothing wrong with the urinary system. The problem is they can't get to the toilet. This is often a mobility issue. Maybe they broke their legs and can't get in there. Maybe they broke their arms and can't pull their pants down. Maybe they have some other kind of issue. But it, the bladder is not the issue. It is something else, some kind of mobility problem um, or environmental problem that they can't get to the toilet itself to do what they've got to do. Second type, stress incontinence, that's loss of urine with exertional stimulus. That means you're doing something to increase the pressure in your belly and you're losing some urine while you do it. Quite often that's laughing, coughing, sneezing, lifting heavy objects, and this, again, this is the type of incontinence that occurs typically in women who have had multiple children. There's urge incontinence, that's the overactive bladder, and the, the detrusor muscle around the bladder is overactive and contracting um, much more than, than it is in, in the normal population. And the last one's overflow incontinence. That is when the person has too much urine in their bladder. They've waited too long to go to the bathroom. Or we, have, we as healthcare providers, have given them too much fluid and haven't given them the opportunity to empty the bladder themselves. So how are we going to treat it? Well, it depends on the type of incontinence. One of the things we can do is assist with mobility issues and environmental barriers. Um, help them, do they need crutches, do they need a wheelchair, do they need a walker, do they need a bathroom that's big enough they can get the walker to the toilet. Do we need to help them rethink what, they're, what kind of clothing they're wearing until, they're, until whatever it is that they've broken it has a chance to mend? Um, we can look on um, behavioral strategies. Now this again is for functional incontinence and it, it'll also help with stress incontinence. We'll do bladder training, we can do pelvic floor strengthening. We can give them medications, that's the pharmacologic approach. Um, anticholinergic medications, we use that for urge incontinence. It decreases the contractile force of the detrusor muscle. So it helps to calm the bladder down. There's also alpha adrenergic medications which will help to improve the tone of the muscles and the contractile ability. So we can be thinking of those with some cases of stress incontinence. And then the surgical methods. Um, we can have a relief of the obstruction. Now this one we're talking about um, enlarged prostate in males. If a guy has an enlarged prostate, it makes it hard for the urine to go around. Um, they end up getting an overfull bladder 
and then losing urine because their bladder's too full. So if we can get rid of the mechanical obstruction, it's going to help with overflow incontinence. And for women, the surgery that we do corrects um, the different uh, pelvic floor structures that have been weakened.